Peeps, and welcome to DCMR's production of Disney's High School Musical. Please silence all cell phones, pagers, PAs, small children, droids, accordions, and put away all lightsabers, iPads, and skateboards. Spin up your gum, face forward, keep your hands and feet to yourselves, and enjoy the show!
hey, you know that school musical thing? It's pretty cool that Darvis is giving extra credit. Just an audition. Do you think LeBron James or Shaquille O'Neal ever auditioned for their school musical? Well, like, the extra credit is good for college and all. You know what's better? Big fat basketball scholarship. Now, for the team championship, get your head in the game. Man, that's tough. All right, let's kick it in. Run the weave drill.
asked him for directions. Troy doesn't usually interact with new students. Why not? It's pretty much basketball 24-7 with him. Plus, he's such a bully, always picking on the smaller kids. That's nice. He hates math and chemistry. Don't get him started on chemistry. I don't think he's opened a book since Sally Dick and Jane. Says he didn't get it. Typical job, right? Cool. <laughs> and he's a meat eater with a flatulence problem. <laughs> anybody. Uh, Miss Tenny? Yes, Gabriella? Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought it should be 10 to the negative 18th power. That's all. <laughs> 10 to the negative 18th power? That's quite possible. Oh, it appears I stand corrected. I'm very impressed, Miss Montez, and welcome aboard. Did you know Troy spent a year in juvenile hall? Something to do with cats and lawnmowers. Be gone! You have no power here. Whatever. <laughs> Ryan hits me. I thought Miss Darvis took your phone away. What? Oh, we always carry a spare in case our agent calls. Look, our sign for the Catalan team has a big regional match on Friday. We've never won it before, but with you on our side, we might stand a chance. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. I just want to get acclimated to the new school and all. Oh, promise you won't please think about it. Promise. <laughs> Love to have you. 
We meet almost every day after school. Please? I don't know. I just feel like I need to catch up on my curriculum before I think about joining a club. <laughs> Darvis? <laughs> 
These students need to be exposed to the arts by any means necessary. If we have a word, we need to in the gym right now. Detention is over for today. You all come really to me. It was an honor and a privilege watching you risk, risk, risk. I expect to see some of you tomorrow afternoon at the auditions. Please remember to be on time. Scooch now, can you collect your phone? Chad and Troy are my star players. You can't have them acting like idiots when they should be at the practice. They were not acting like idiots, they were acting like actors. If Troy and Chad were being your performers instead of athletes, would you still seek preferential treatment for them? I think not. Darkness, we are days away from the biggest game of the year. And we are in the midst of auditions for our winter musical. This school is about more than sweaty young men in baggy shorts flinging balls for buckets. Bastards. The West Side Knights have not just on the playoffs for three straight years. Yes, and despite your consistent track record of defeat, the school board still needs fish to allocate ten times the amount of money for school athletics as it does for the arts programs. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach these kids about having a goal, about teamwork, something they can actually use as adults. Which is precisely what I am trying to Oh, I make them scream at the top of their lungs? Celestine! Crackpot! Hey, peeps. Welcome back to another great regular school day. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo will be held at 3 p.m. sharp. So he barely forced with the dudes, but a rabbit feet on your floor, of course. Jack Scott, over and out to 
What I mean to say is... <laughs> I'll sing with her. Roy Bolton, where's your fourth coffee? Whatever it's called. Tea. But I'm here alone. Actually, I'm here to sing with her. Yes, well... I treat these shows just as soon as your father treats his basketball practices. I call for the Julia Finn Romeo audition, and you didn't respond. I'm sorry, but now we simply run out of time. That's up, Jack. Troy. You wrote that song that Ryan and Sharpay just sang? Uh-huh. And the entire show? Uh-huh. How long did it take you to write it? Mm, about two years. I get it at five every morning and work on it, but I'm still not finished with the finale. That's amazing. You're really good at baby. So, why are you afraid of Sharpay? It's your show. It is? Hello. Thank you. Isn't the author of musical kind of like the playmaker in basketball? The playmaker? He's the one who makes everybody else look good. Without you, there is no show. You're the playmaker. I am? Do you want to hear the way that the song is supposed to sound?
teacher, okay? Now that Troy's gonna be in your show. Troy Bolton is not my show. Oh. Okay. I mean, do you like the cake I made for you? No, it didn't go with my pants. Haha. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Either one of you is make fools! 
that all about? Want to tell me something, Bolton? Something about singing? Oh, no. I mean, you know. No, I don't know. Darkest the deranged just chewed my head off because she thinks you're plotting something. Well, like, I was just helping out a student audition. It's nothing. You bet it's nothing. In case you forgot, you're the biggest game of your life coming up in two days. Get your head to game for real. The team's depending on you. I was gonna stay and work on my free throws. Since you're late for practice, again, that's the least. Wow. So this is your real stage. You could call it that. Or just a smelly gym. Hey, don't tell me you're good at hoops, too. I won't score 41 points in the league championship game. No way. Yep, the same day I invented the PlayStation and the iPod. Yeah. <laughs> I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. I know, me too. And I was late for practice again. So if I can kick off a team, it'll be on your conscience. Hey, I... Gabriel. Yeah, Sorry, miss. This is a closed practice. But practice is over. Not until the last button we can jip hold it. Team rules. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I... Dad, this is Gabriela Montez. Your detention buddy? Gabriela, Taylor needs you up in the lab right away. Hip hop, hooray! <laughs> I'll see you later, Troy. It was nice meeting you, Coach Walton. Goodbye. The detention was my fault, not hers. You've been mispracticed for three years. That girl shows up here only twice. That girl is named Gabriela. She's very nice. Help you miss practice doesn't make her very nice. Not in my book or your team's. She's not a problem. She's just a girl. But you're not just a guy. You're the team leader. What you do affects not only this team, but the entire school. But you completely focused, we won't win that game right. Championship games don't come around every day. There's something special. A lot of things are special. You blow this chance you regret for the rest of your life. You mean like you? You're a playmaker, Bolton. Not a singer. Did you ever think that maybe I could be both? And my name is Troy, Dad, not Bolton.
Gabriella means nothing to me. Singing means nothing to me. I'll forget her, forget the audition, and we'll go win that championship. Everybody happy now? Troy? Troy Bolton? Um, I think this is for you. <laughs> Gabriella? What's going on? Guess what? I don't want to do the callbacks either. Who are we kidding? You've got your team, and now I've got my team. You go win your championship, and I'll do the science to cat one. It's where we belong. But I don't oh, want cats! But I don't... Oh, me either. It's goodbye.
classic. And why do you always have to do what you say? Maybe because I know what I'm doing. Somebody in this room had a chill out sister, and it ain't me. <laughs> we'll get there all <laughs> We always do.
First, we have to talk to our friends. We have to tell them we are doing the callbacks after all. Well, let's go put it ready. We're bringing daylight.
See? Jack, wait, Molly! Well, 
service were here. I called her name twice. Where were you? Please, just this one time. Rules are rules, Miss Montana. Give us a chance, Miss Darvis. A chance for what, boy? A chance to make a joke out of something that means the world. For me and to your fellow classmates who came to audition. But it's not a joke. I came because I want to give it my best shot. We only have a few more minutes until the lights turn back on. What? This? A full house? As president of the drama club, I have to put my foot down. No preferential treatment. Those are your words, not mine. Miss Darvis, Troy wasn't trying to sabotage the audition. Sharp pay lied to because she was afraid of losing the part. Shut up! Is he telling the truth? Did you abuse the presidential privilege and knowingly lie to me? I didn't lie. I improvised. A little. We'll talk about this later, Miss Evans. Right now, off the stage. But I off the stage. Miss Darvis, it's all yours. Troy and Gabriella, we may start for a callback. But we don't have a pianist. We'll sing without music. Oh, no, you won't. Pianist here, Miss Darvis. You really don't want to do that. Oh, yes, I really do. <laughs>
game ball captain. <laughs> so, you're going with me to the after party, right? Like, on a date. Must be your lucky day. Or yours. <laughs> Really? Like really, 